Hey, what's going on? YouTube Chris Bogo with a deck profile of three axes. One of the other deck options uh, for um, next week at Arg's uh, Ultra Reality Game Circuit Series. Uh, I won local tonight with this. Uh, I just, just traded this Spellground for pretty much everything, and extras like secret card cars, uh, Ultra Chaos Orc. You're stuff. a waste of money. But I wanted to get super rejuice uh, or super um, rekindlings, but I, I didn't have enough to add up for it. But anyways, uh, I was off like 20. Into You're the deck list. Three bear. This is absolutely essential. Like, there's no arguing this whatsoever. Doing the damage, popping monsters. Uh, it's very important. Two gorilla. Uh, I'm still very iffy about this, but I feel like playing two is fine because you need to make some four sometimes. Popping back rows isn't as relevant, but him p killing monster is okay at times. Um, too bad it has to send it to grave. Anyways, the key card uh, that's put at one spirit makes all your key synchro plays, and with the rank three lion emperor, you grab him back multiple times. Something at one. Is uh, all right. Forces you to make Lion Emperor, but still very good. Oh, so you open that card when you only play one of it? No. Uh, you're I, I just play tankies and all the search cards and leopard. Anyways, three rooster. Um, thank God they're all first dead. But this guy tributes a fire formation to set one from the deck, and um, when he's supposed to summon by fire fist, I can grab a fire fist from deck to hand. So he's broken. He causes all the plays, but him, he he's your boy, and he's foreign. Uh, three Leopard, when he's normal summoner, special summon that uh, once returned, you can tribute one uh, Fire Fist to set one's fire formation from your deck. And he that's can only be used once returned. So that's the easiest way to get Tanky and uh, well, or Tensu with drive. Spirit plays. Well, you can just drop, um, you know? Right, yeah, you can. And then we got the Hand Traps. So we got three Blaster with Mitch Mash and Rarity. That is not a Hand Trap. Uh, he doesn't do anything but pop. And he pushes for OTKs. He's not a Hand Trap. You activate him from Hand most of the time. But that's not but a Hand Trap. He, you know what it means he pushes for game. Uh, I won the um top four to split for final with this guy I pushed uh just for over two hundred extra over eight thousand with him for game. So this deck is absurd. Um and see all oh, their hand traps. Two max C two Valor. Um Valor was sweet. I just kept opening him too many times for him not to be efficient. But I used Armadillus a lot to win and uh, Maxi's obviously always good. If they don't OTK me after doing the Maxi challenge, I win. I proved that um, against the Dragon Dragoonity Dragon Roller player, uh, Joe Barrett. He also top 32 Nats. Who's, uh, but, yeah. You're trying to make him out to be really good. I'm just saying, like, he's not bad. Okay. Uh, two Tenki, it's at two. Three Tensu, the key card that helps you just OTK. Uh, one Gyoku, this basically is Jing Shenghu replica or Night Beam, whatever you want to do. Uh, but you can target one set spell trap your opponent controls, they can't chain it, and while this is face up, they can activate it, and all my Beast Warriors gain 100. Uh, Yoko, target one face up uh, card, discard a Beast Warrior, and I can destroy it if I do, and give 100 for everything. So you got outs. Then we got three rekindlings. Um, basically, this lets me push for game also really easily. With, um, uh, with Lion Emperors in the grave, I put them on the field. Then I could put uh, Leopard and Spirit on the field. Unfortunately, Rooster cannot. I thought Rooster was 200 defense. It's only 100, so you can't rekindle for it. Doesn't it say 200 or less? No, it's just 200. What? Something bad. Let no, me guess, you cheated. It definitely yeah, says 200. It's, it's 200, exactly. Something bad. Anyways, Foolish Berry, obviously, for the Spirit plays. Set up and uh, Milling Blaster if I need to make the pushes. I swear this Did you cheat a million times against me? I get in what deck? Uh, Hazy Flame. Anyways, really? Foolish is aboard. Book of Moon and Dark Hole. Um, staple. This was uh, all right. I sided it out if I won game one, or if I wa lost game one, because obviously going second opening this is good. But otherwise, it's mediocre in a sense. Uh, I'll show. This is the exact list I played today to win. I'll show you my changes after testing in a moment. Three Grouse Storm. This card was absolute MVP of the day. Uh, target one spell trap on both sides of the field. Return them to hand. Stop the decays. Stop like it, it recycled all my tankies, ten sus, and it was absolute nuts. Recycle Phoenix chain a lot too, which was like absolute sweetness. Because dragons they synchro or exceed with their Phoenix chain, dude. And I'm like sweet. I'll just grab storm and reuse this Phoenix and get rid of your backer for the turn. It was good. Solemn morning, very important. Uh, torrential, uh, compulse, and double Phoenix. Uh, so I don't lose automatically against dumb things. Now, my changes, I would cut Torrential, because I sided out every game, no matter what. The card was really bad, because my the deck I played always has Field Presence. And same with Dark Hole. I'd cut these two for two Phoenix Wing, because I open some nasty hands sometimes. And Phoenix Wing sets your opponent back a turn. And then in this deck, you could plus six pretty much constantly. You said Phoenix? What do you want to discard? 
Blaster, That's a true. Leopard. That's bad. There's a bunch of things you can discard. Bad. And you plus so much, like this doesn't matter. Top decking opponent's card is very crucial at times where you need to just push for the game. Also, it's just very good against things like Star Eater at end of main phase and other generic plays like that. Anyway, since it's extra, uh, Robbie Cole token with rank fours. Uh, one Tiger King, one Cardinal. Cardinal was pretty much the MVP against safe zoning and stuff. He recycles too, which is so good. I didn't Tiger King today at all. Black Ship of Corn, um, Dweller, Cowboy, or Cowboy Dweller. Uh, these are essentially win conditions, depending on the thing. You don't use him as often as you ever did before. And I also don't have Diamond Dire in here for a reason. You just never go Diamond Dire. If you do, there's nothing you want to pop. If you need to pop something, your Firefish should be able to do that themselves. Uh, but those. Um, three Lion Emperor. This is I played two at first, Billy Break plays two, and I disagree. There's things like Veilers. There's too many variables where in which like you will need a third. And plus, you could do the combo th um, three times. I'll show you guys the combo in a moment. But he's also very important because he has 200 defense and rekindling fodder for damage. Uh, other rank threes, I played uh, Levier, and I finally got a secret end mains. But Levier's end mains, um, went Levier once, went Zen mains once, because he is really good. Uh, it's also because like you make the level six synchro horse prints much more often than exceeding. Uh, three horse prints also again like Valor, Phoenix chains, just ways to stop him. And having more is better. I don't have to cardinal recycle him or anything, and it lets me do the combo pluses for days three times. Assuming I open no rooster or draw any. And then two level fives because of Valor level four. Catastrophe and Armadies. Uh, Armadies is uh, 23 dude. When it attacks or is attacked, your opponent can activate any cards or effects until the end of the damage step. It's really cool too because when they attack you, they can't activate anything. So Black Wings can't be like Kalut. So it, it helps wins game. It steals games in of itself. I stole a game against Mr. Cap Falcon, Michael Cho. Uh, he was playing Umbral Horror. Uh, safe zone, Vanity's Empty to stun, and that card was a biznatch. Anyways, into the side. Two Kaiku, sided in against Prophecy, uh, didn't see it. Two Flying Sea, sided this against, um, Evil, or, I sided against, um, Umbra Horror. It was in here for Evil Swarm, because I get smashed by Evil Swarm if I don't have a bear, and they have traps for that usually. So, you could just two Spell it. Shouting Arrow for um, basically people who side in DeFi, and a Spell Book matchup, of course. Because this deck can't win with DeFi. Spirit's important. Soul Drain for Mermels and Dragons, of course. Uh, two Iron Wall. It hurts me just slightly because of Blaster and whatnot, but Iron Wall's still very, very good. Two Rivalry. It beats so much. It sides in against practically everything. Two of the uh, trap stun. Probably my favorite thing to play against, like side against backer decks. I don't like decree as much because this is so chainable and so nuts. And of course, um, decree is chainable. Decree is not chainable. It's a self speed one. It's chainable. It, it's so trap card. Cha yeah, if they activate a trap card, but it's not like chainable to facts and dumb things. Like what? You just, oh, you just it, can't, it can't stack. Yourself. It can't stack. I don't know what I meant by that. It's very good chainable, and it lets you still play traps. Is that That's a better explanation. And two Starlight Road for the rogue matchups, such as... Um, uh, sometimes I set us in against dragons. Usually not, though, because Black Rosen isn't as big of an issue in this deck. But this is definitely in for Black Wings, because they like Delta Crowing a lot. And um, blowing up cards. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoy, can and subscribe. I mentioned my changes already. Uh, try out the deck. I'm going to keep testing it for Arg Circuit. And yeah, so we're I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, you too.